Hi, it's time for the Fit Basha Challenge and today's Monday we're going to work on our legs. So, grab your blaster, we're going to get started. Today, we're going to work on the front, the back, and the sides of our quads, thighs, hamstrings, saddlebags, um, our calves, ankles, and finishing up with our feet. So I'm using my full-size blaster, I'm using light pressure, I'm using long, brisk strokes. You want to spend approximately three to five minutes per zone. As you've been blasting longer, you can build up to um, 10 to 15 minutes per zone. Okay? You can use uh, different techniques as you blast. Right now, I'm just going with um, the muscle. We'll switch and do some cross fiber in a little bit. You can use your mini or your full size blaster. I'll be demoing both. So this is our IT band here. We often hear of complaints um, that you have a tight IT band. You actually want your IT band tight. It's usually tight fascia that's causing the problem. Um, sometimes when that gets tight, it could be a hip impingement, um, your front of your legs, your quads, and your hamstrings may be so tightly bound together with fascia that it's pulling on your IT band. Okay, now I'm going to switch here and go cross fiber. Again, I'm to the skin, lightly pressing. And I have, I have my leg up on a footstool. I'm not flexing my muscles. We're just working on some fascia restoration. So I'm glad you all decided to join the Fit Fascia Challenge. The biggest part of getting results is setting a goal, committing to the process, and believing in yourself and the fascia blaster. Okay, so we are on our thighs, also known as our quads. Okay, now I'm going to switch and do some diagonal. You have your hip flexors up here. I am already preheated. Um, I heat it up in my sauna. I'm sure you can tell I'm oiled. And of course I use Ashley Black's blaster oil. It's formulated with all the good stuff for blasting. Now I switch down one at the other diagonal. Okay, let's go back to some straight up and down. I'm using just slightly more pressure now. So when you're blasting, you can see I'm starting to get a little bit of red. See some red coming in here? That's an increase in blood circulation. This is exactly what we want to see. When you turn red like a sunburn, that would be time to stop, okay? So that's a good gauge. You never want to go over a pain level of seven. You want to start out blasting between a pain level of about two and three and ease your way into it, okay? You can see again, I'm starting to turn red right in here. Okay. So now let's work on our saddlebag area right here. This is a common spot right in here that we can um, hold some weight. So I like to turn my blaster and just get in the side here. Just go back and forth. Anytime you need a drink of water, get a drink of water. You can spend three to five minutes on this area. 
Okay, I'll go back and forth. I'm just using um, light to medium pressure. I always start off with light pressure and then as I go, I get a little deeper. You may see a few bruises on me. I did a, another leg video last week. And I'm just going to switch my hand position. I'm still working that saddle bag. You come up into your hip. I'm going to switch my hand position again. Okay. And a couple cross. And we're going to switch. We're going to work on our hamstrings now. whenever you need it. Okay, so we're going to start out just with a back and forth. I have my, my arms stiff, um, light pressure. We'll just ease our way into it. So a lot of times if you've just started blasting, um, this can be a real tender area. A tender area is an indication of tightly bound fascia. So ease into it. The longer you blast, um, the longer you will be able to blast during a session as the fascia restores will be less painful. So blasting is kind of a workout for me. I look at it as part of my cardio. So if you hear me huffing and puffing, like a double. Okay, now let's do a little cross. So just as if you were brushing your teeth or scrubbing in action, just going back and forth. Um, my muscles are not engaged. My foot is just up on a footstool, resting on a footstool. You will build up arm muscles. <laughs> And you'll build up an endurance and it'll get easier, so. Um, this is not painful. I'm just right at a level two or three. Okay, and now I'm gonna do a little diagonal. And I'm gonna switch the angle there. Okay, now let's do our inner thigh. Okay, so inner thigh, I'm just gonna start out. You go one handed. Get a little lower here. Okay, I'm gonna switch my hand position around and you're gonna go back and forth.
Okay, hit a little diagonal. You have a nice line right in here that I like to hit. All right, let's move on to our, our lower leg. I'm gonna to switch to my mini. Um, if you have your full size, you can also use your full size. Sometimes it's just easier to grab a hold of the mini. And I'm gonna start out just scrubbing up and down the length of the leg. Um, this is another area that is often very tightly bound on people right down here. Okay, so just scrub up and down. And switch to the back. And get your Achilles tendon right through here. Um, anyone that has foot problems, uh, plantar fasciitis, you want to do your foot and you want to do all the way up to your knee. There's a lot of it stems from up here on your calf. Okay, come around to the front. Go right up and down your shin. You can just take these claws and put them right over the top here. And just straddle that bone. You can take one and go on the side of it. Around your knee. And then I'm going to switch to my big blaster. Okay. And just go back and forth. Okay. I'm going to have this outside. You can see the blood flow I'm getting here. It's getting nice and red. And I'm going to go up and down. Across the front. Outside. Just going to do a little definition here under the muscle. to the foot. So um, I never oil my feet because there's so much, you know, I just use my hand and put some on. Um, there's so much oil on my blasters. So um, you want to start on the top of your foot and go all around your ankles. Um, I like to go in between the metatarsals right here. Just take one claw and go in and just separate them out. Okay. And it sounds like gravel. Coming on your arch. And then I just pick it up and scrub. Of course, you can do this sitting down. Scrub the bottom. Okay. If you have bunions or anything, go around this outer edge. You get in and work that joint. Okay, let's switch to the other leg. Get yourself all oiled up. Get a drink of water. Okay, we're 
going to start out on our quadricep. Light pressure, long, brisk strokes. I'll show you if you only have a mini two how you would do this. Okay, it's just the same. It's whatever you prefer. The claws are the same. One has four, one has two. I personally like the full size on my legs for the leverage I can get, but the mini is good for the tub or shower or traveling. Okay, I'm going to grab my full size and do some cross fiber, so just go right across. What that means is I'm going across the muscle fiber, so your muscles are running like this and I'm now going across them. So you want to hit every direction of your fascia to break up the adhesions. The only thing you don't want to do is circles. Circles tangle, we don't want to tangle. You can see again, maybe I'm getting red in here, so that's a good sign. I'm keeping my pain level down. My pain is ah, maybe a two. Now I'm gonna do some, I'm gonna do some diagonal. Come up on my hip flexor. that nice cut there. And just towards the end, I'm using a little more pressure. I'm at about a five now of pain of one to 10. Which just, it doesn't hurt, I can just feel it. Okay, now we're gonna, we're gonna switch to the saddlebag area. Make sure you're nice and oiled up. Okay. So, to the skin, just a light pressure, fast movement. Let's work it. Nobody said that this was easy. It's a workout, but I enjoy it. It's definitely worth it. The results are amazing. The way you feel, look, If you have your mini two, you can also get in there with your mini two. Go down into my IT band. here and just hit another angle. Okay, a little more pressure here at the end. You can see it's getting nice and red. It's exactly what we want. Okay, let's switch to, let's switch to our hamstrings. All right, just start going back and forth. If you have the mini two, same thing. 
just going back and forth. I personally really like the full size better here. It's just um, easier to maintain nice body alignment. Okay, so I'm gonna keep going with my large size. So I'm kind of, when I'm going back and forth, I'm kind of shifting a little left, a little to the right. I'm hitting that entire quadrus up. Okay, we're gonna do the scrubbing motion. And I'm, I'm leaning forward, but I'm not flexing my muscle. Do some diagonal, so I just turned it a little bit. She hit some more of the adhesions. I'm doing fast, long strokes. I'm now at medium pressure because we're finishing up on the hamstring. Okay, so our inner thigh. Let's switch. I'm going to use the knee here. Okay. We're just going to scrub this out, okay? A little more oil. Always be oiled up. You want the, you want these just to glide, never pull. I'm waiting for Ashley to sell this oil in the gallon size, because I love it. <laughs> okay, I'm just going back and forth. Um, be careful when this is pointed that direction. You may want to turn to the side. Okay, we're getting right here and scrub it back and forth. Yeah, just go back and forth, back and forth. Let's move down to our calf. We'll start with the mini down here. Grab a drink if you need it. Okay, starting on the outside. I'm just doing some fast movement. Try to be mindful of your posture when you're blasting. You can see I'm not like hunched over. You know, my core is engaged. I have a bend in this knee. So you can already see I got some good blood flow coming here. It's exactly what we want. And hit up on that shin bone. Got a big patch of fascia in here too. Anyone that has shin splints, right here, this is what you do. Okay. Go to the inside. Get your Achilles tendon. Right here is a big contention where you get bound up too. Okay, I'm going to switch my big blaster. Okay, go up and down. And back and forth. You can lock your arms if you want. I'm coming at the angle. Using a little more pressure now than when I started. Let's hit this outside, diagonal. Let's hit 
to a spot right here. It's often a sore spot for people. Once again, anything sore is probably bound up fascia, which we can restore. Okay, let's move down to our ankle and foot. Okay, I'm gonna go right up around my ankles. Achilles tendon. And go right on the top of my foot. You guys make sure you always do the top of your foot. It's covered in fascia. We're covered from head to toe. Every bone, muscle, blood system, nerves, they're all covered in fascia. Okay, do the outer edge of your foot. And around this ankle. Achilles tendon. Okay, I like to hit this arch right here. If you wear heels, if you have any bunions or anything, this is a good place to hit. You can hold that toe up. Okay, and then let's just scrub it up. Toes. I just put my hand back there for support and we'll run across them. Okay, let's set up, separate the metatarsals. Just put one claw in. You see, you just go up between each one. If you have a hammer toe, you can go around. Around that toe, this is usually the culprit here. Okay, all right, the last thing we do is we do a body flush. Okay, so just nice and gentle, rub that out. Get some lactic acid out, encourages what um, stimulates our lips, which fascia blasting also does. Okay, and the other side. Okay, so for exercises for the fit fascia challenge, you need to do your heart butt exercises today. I'll include the link in the post. You are well on your way to a healthier you in 2017. All right, have a great day.